guys. My name is Amanda Dick, and I am an independent consultant with Jamberry Nails. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about layering your wraps. So if you're anything like me, you've seen different uh, layered wraps, the browns, and that means when you take one wrap and then you layer another wrap over top to create a completely different look. And if you're like me, you probably feel a little bit intimidated by this style because you didn't know if you could do it or not. It's really simple. I will show you how. So right now, I am wearing raspberry sparkle on my hands. And then you can see on my ring fingers, I have the white chevron over top. And so it creates a really fun style. You can see the pink shining through and it's just it's super fun so a lot of times you could just stick with this and just have one accent nail but I kinda like it I'm gonna go a little bit farther than that so the nail I'm going to show you how to do it on is my thumbs so first I'm going to take my alcohol wipe and wipe off the wrap make sure that there's no uh, greases or oils on my wrap my thumb there so that the layered wrap will stick on really nicely. Let that dry a little bit and then come over here to my layered wrap and I already know the one that I am going to need is the fifth one in. So Just a little bit of something on my tweezers there. I don't want that on the adhesive part of the wrap, so I'm going to take that off. So I'm going to pull that up. I am going to cut that in half, about, and stick it back on my sheet, all without touching the adhesive side. Now we've got this all ready to go, but I've kind of got it on the wrong side. So a little hair there. So I'm going to flip my tweezers over to the opposite side. So here we go. And now I'm going to take my Jamberry heater here, turn it on, and warm it up a bit. Just I like to go until you can see it starts to curl. You'll see that. There we go. Do you see how it bends and just kind of flops right over? We're ready. So now we'll take the wrap, take our nail here, and line it up right on top of the other wrap. See? And now I will press it down using my finger. Then I'm going to take my rubber cuticle stick, push it down nice and hard all over my rope. Nice and hard. I like to use a lot of pressure so that it adheres as well as it can. Okay, so you'll see there's a lot of excess there. And so I'm going to take my clippers here, clip it down, I'll take the excess again, stick it on. So what I do, I just take my excess and stick it on my, uh, my wipe wrap. And then I grab my baggie and stick my nail in nice and tight so you can see that it gets really tight there. It actually kind of bends my nail a little bit. Maybe I do it a little bit too hard. I'm not sure, but it works. <laughs> so, and I put up like this against the heater as long as I can possibly stand it. And then, yep, it feels like my nail's on fire. So I'll take it off for a second. And while 
it's uh, uh, cooling there. I like to make it just kind of fix it up again. I don't take it off right away. And I'm going to do it one more time. Most people, I think, only do it once. I like to do it twice just to be on the safe side. There we go. And then take off the baggie. Again, I'm going to make it nice and tight on there. Okay, good. So now I'm going to let this one cool. In the meantime, I'll just prep my other nail to get my other thumb done. So again, go back to the opposite side of the wrap we just used. Use the heater again. It's nice and floppy. Flippy floppy. Oh. <laughs> really flippy floppy. And then... Here. Well, you might want to see what I'm doing here. So again, layer it right on top of the other wrap. push down. I like to kind of pull my skin back and out of the way to make sure I'm getting it in there really good. And again, push, 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 push. So you can see I still have all the kind of leftovers on that side. That's not going to stick around. I'll push down, again, grab my rubber orange stick, nice and firm, perfect, then clippers again, Let's clip off, I still leave a little bit there for it to Curl over the edges. And again, grab my trusty baggie and use my heater once more. Okay, it's really hot. That's Good, that's what it's supposed to do. Rub it again a little bit more. Fix the baggie up a little bit. So it's again nice and tight on there. And then once more. amount of time that it took me to do this. This is now nice and cooled off. So I take my uh, nail file. This one's pretty coarse so it helps to just peel the excess off really well. Just get right in there. File it down. You don't want to file this way. You always want to be filing it down. on there just peels right off until you can kind of see like that. Go a little bit more in the middle there. Just a little bit more on this side. Good. And now I like to take just a bit of a more fine nail file again. File that down so it's nice and smooth. I have also heard that glass files are like fantastic for this. I have yet to buy one, so I look forward to buying one and trying that out as well. But here we go. That's what it looks like from behind the front. And that is my super cute Jamicure. And then all I have to do is come and file off the other nail. 
So playing with the different styles and layering and whatnot, it's nothing to be scared of or be nervous about trying. It's super easy. Putting the second layer on is actually even easier than putting on the first. And I find putting on the first is pretty easy. It's a little bit time consuming, but not even really that bad. It is a little bit of a learning curve. You'll find that the more that you do it, the faster it goes and the better it looks. Just have to learn what works exactly for your nails. Let's see, oh, a little bit left, but mostly it's off. Oh, there we go. Just filed right off. Now again to just put a little perfecting touch to file off any rough edges there. Let's see. Bellissimo. Alright, so there you have it. That simple. So I am done. So right now I've got just a couple of accent nails on. I like to do that. I just think it's fun and it gives it your jammy care a little bit of a an extra pop, like it wasn't cute enough to begin with. <laughs> but yes. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and that it helps you out with your layering techniques. And if you are looking for a host or not a hostess, a consultant, let me know. Oh, that's my kids. Hang on. Uh, my uh, website is amandadick.jamberrynails.net and my Facebook page is facebook.com backslash amandadickjamberry. So come and visit me and I would be glad to help you out. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.